it sold for $895.95. She got it at a flea market for $10. I accepted a best offer of $450 plus $12 shipping. I paid a dollar at a church sale. Oh my gosh. One dollar. Can't believe she went for $360.99. Can you believe it? $180 for a free item. Oh my, oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have another featured members video for you. These are Bolo Buddies Facebook members and my YouTube members. And in this video, I am gonna talk to you about amazing, awesome, big money bolos. Items that you can hopefully pick up cheap and sell for big money. So I call these big money bolos. In this video, I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my Facebook group, which looks like this. If you're not in the group, definitely go join it. There's a link down below. And if you're already in it, thank you. Um, thank you for helping keep it a safe place by reporting mean comments. I appreciate that. We're getting more and more reports. That's helping us weed out the people who are not nice. Um, you have to be nice if you join, okay? Um, so what I did is I posted this, share your best February bolo in the group, and I invited why can't I ever say invited? I invited everyone to share their big money bolo. So um, let's get started. The first item comes from Mindful Recycle, Terry, and this is her YouTube channel. She's a big money bolo finder. You guys got to sub her up, I'm telling you. She's also a moderator of the Facebook group. So show her some love with a sub and thank her for being a moderator. She's incredible. And I tell you what, I dare you to go watch one of her videos because you will be hooked. Hooked. She finds the most amazing stuff. She picked up this Samantha American Girl doll at an estate sale a couple months ago for 20 bucks, and she sold it for 350 And she does this all the time. She finds the most amazing stuff and just sells it for crazy profit. So she is, she's just incredible. So anyway, uh, the buyer paid the shipping as well, and this is what it looks like. It is a pleasant company, so it is from the 80s. It's 1986, so those are going to be worth more, but this has the box, the extra clothes. It is an incredible find. Here's another one from Terry. Picked up a big box of Christopher Radco ornaments from an estate sale. All were priced differently, so I did an average price of $5.15. I sold this one for $175.50. And look at that face. Woohoo! That is a Christopher Radco Santa Claus. Are you sure that's Santa Claus? I'm not sure that's Santa Claus. Uh, 20th anniversary. Maybe it's Santa Claus. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Got these at an estate sale. As soon as I saw them, I remembered you saying in a video that they were a bolo. I found a whole box full for $10. So cost of goods came to 16 cents each. I listed two lots of three on eBay and both of them sold within 15 minutes. This one for full asking of $44.95 and an offer on the other for $39.95. They are vintage Canon reinforced heel and toe RHT stockings, new old stock. And this is what they look like. Now, I will tell you that there are some that go for crazy money. I actually, um, in one of my what sold videos, I sold stockings. I can't remember how many sets I sold, but it was over $600 to one person. It was absolutely just an incredible sale. But they, I believe, were a lot older than these. Um, so there's different types of material that change the value, um, but also the packaging is gonna be a good indicator of how old they are and sometimes the advertising on the packaging. But uh, the person that bought them from me was trying to explain it to me, but I was just like, it was way over my head. It was something about the weave and all of this different stuff. So there are people out there that, collect these and they look for certain things. So some of them can go for crazy money. That includes pantyhose, stockings, nylons in general. Some of them 
just wow, just wow. And um, that was a really unexpected bolo for me. I had no idea that they were going to go for that crazy amount of money. We actually sold this in January, but missed your January video. And this is a good, this is too good not to share. We picked this up at a local thrift store on Free Rack. We had it listed for around eight months before accepting an offer of $180. Can you believe it? $180 for a free item that it is made of paper? We actually picked up two of these off the free rack. The second one is still currently listed on eBay. Thank you for all your hard work. We have learned so much from you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It is Goosebumps Haunted Library with Too Many Books, 1996 Rare Halloween, $239.99 on that. Can you believe it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. They accepted an offer of $180. Can you believe that was on the free rack? It's crazy, right? Like people just don't know. I got this at the Goodwill Benz outlet in Denver. My average cost of goods that day was $1.06. I accepted a best offer of $40 plus $8.82 shipping. Even though it's not high dollar, it sold quickly in 15 days. I've had luck with other plush creation stuffed animals too. I would recommend looking it up and getting it if you can source it cheap. So the brand is Plush Creations 1991 Bunny Rabbit in a jumpsuit. And this is what it looks like. Um, $40 plus shipping is definitely a bolo in my eyes for plush. Um, if I can get 40 bucks out of a plush, I am like all over it. And I am like bolo. Yes. Um, this one comes from YouTuber Restless Thrifter, and this is what her channel looks like and definitely go sub her up down below. I know a lot of you guys follow all of the YouTubers that I mentioned. Thank you so much for doing that. They're working really hard. Some of them have been YouTubers for a while. Some of them are brand new and they all have something for you to, to learn from because we all source differently. So definitely go and uh, check them out. She has a great channel. Speaking of great channels, Flippin' It Good. Um, he is my member that does retail arbitrage, but he also um, does other stuff as well. He'll go to like yard sales and he even buys, um, what are they called? Uh, no, not, uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, I can't think of what it's called. Oh, they're really cool. It's where, uh, Lost Cargo, Lost Cargo, Lost Cargo. I remembered. Yes. Yes. I didn't think it was going to come to me. It came to me. Can you believe it? Ah. Okay. You guys are thinking I'm a little bit crazy. If you're new here, sorry. I'm usually not this crazy. I'm a little wound up. I don't know what's going on. Ah. I had um, a coffee drink earlier, but usually doesn't make me this hyper. <laughs> anyway, flipping it good. So he goes into like Ross and TJ Maxx and those different places and he finds shoes and clothes. And I'm not kidding. The man is like, He's a genius. The stuff he finds, like he knows how to source. So go check out his channel if you want to learn about retail arbitrage. But he also talks about other stuff as well. So let's get to his bolo. I found this at a, an estate sale. This is a trophy belt buckle. I bought 22 trophy uh, sterling overlay and negotiated to $375. So $375 for 22 trophy buckles. They wanted 25 each, but ended up accepting my offer of 17 each. This is the third buckle that has sold. This one sold for 125 plus shipping on Mercari. So awesome. 17 into 125 is fantastic. And I love it that he negotiated. I always negotiate. Okay, so let's talk about that retail arbitrage stuff I was just talking about. Found these at Ross. It's a department store. I don't know if they're everywhere, but check your local stores. Uh, Ross for $19.99. These are big. They're size 14. And usually most people leave those shoes behind, those sizes behind. These were special. So I picked them up. They sold for $350 plus shipping. Took three months to sell. $20 into $350 in three months. That's impressive, right? That's what it looks like. Got this necklace as part of a nine pound jewelry lot from an auction. The nine pound bag plus shipping cost me $32. I listed it on Poshmark after comping for 20. Less than 12 hours later, it sold. It's Chico's faux pearl necklace with three dangling charms in the back next to the closure. I'm still taking pictures and listing the remaining items. Tonight, I listed another necklace on Poshmark from the same bag. I kid you not, five minutes later, it sold. 
So I do pretty well with jewelry on Poshmark. Um, Chico's, I feel like Chico's sells pretty good. Um, it is costume jewelry, but it will usually have a little tag on it that says Chico's. If you can pick it up cheap, I definitely recommend picking it up. This is what it looks like, and she sold it quickly for 20 bucks. Coffee mugs. Coffee mugs still sell, and here's a great example. Pick this up at a thrift store for 69 cents. It sat in my death pile, which I call a money pile because you just need to list it. And then it's just money. List it, guys. List it. Um, I asked you guys or said in another video, go grab five items from your money pile and list them. Did anybody do it? Let me know in the comments. Um, I didn't list from my actual huge money pile, but I have been listing like crazy from my money pile that is upstairs. Um, I have money piles everywhere. It's okay. Uh, it sat in my money pile for maybe a year or more. Finally listed it and it sold in 24 hours for my full asking price of $44.95. There were none of this exact design listed, so I priced it high. It says vintage 1980s Edward Gorey PBS mystery masterpiece mug detective suspect theater. Okay. This one comes from Two Sisters Pickers. This is her um, eBay store and she is She Picker on YouTube and she is going to start putting out YouTube content. So I will link her down below. Please go and subscribe to her channel and check her out on eBay. Purchase this statue from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel. I've spent a year learning and sourcing before diving into actual selling. I knew this was special and I had to have it. Figured it didn't sell, I would be happy to keep it, but I've Listed a few things recently and they sold very quickly. Paid 30 and sold for 127. I could have held out for more but figured this might kickstart my eBay store a little bit. Arrived safely to buyer and received beautiful feedback. She said, I love sourcing from Donatella Bottolino and tea auctions for you. They always have quality items and have a fun time with like-minded people in the chat who are very knowledgeable and freely share what they know. Yeah, so I will link auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino down in the description as well. This is Italian sculptor Galipsi Armani, trumpet boy retired. Oh, I sold for my sister-in-law. She paid about $2 at a local thrift store. Thank you, Courtney, for your guidance. When I looked up comps, couldn't find one exactly like her and prices were all over the place. I decided to do an auction like Courtney says she does and start it high at 85, really thinking she might go for 150. Six bidders, but they must have wanted her. Can't believe she went for 360 and 99 cents and they paid immediately. Plus she was naked. <laughs> oh my goodness, you gotta love it. This is what she looks like. Oh... So number 850, fashion doll, blonde, ponytail, hair, Japan, naked. And we'll leave out the naked picture. Oh, that is awesome. Congratulations. Bought it for $2.99 at a local thrift store. Wasn't really sure what it was, but it was new. And when I looked it up, comps were good. Sold in one day for $32.72. I was running a sale. Not an exciting item, but I love the profit. And it was a quick flip, right? So that's always a good thing as well. It is a single pull ground fault breaker circuit interrupter. So that is one thing that I mention when I do my Goodwill Benz videos. If I'm sourcing in the bins and I find something that is in the original packaging, I'll typically pick it up because it's in the original packaging and it's pretty cheap. So cheap is good, right? Oh my, oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. This one comes from YouTube channel Piece of Scrap. And if this doesn't make you go subscribe to her, I'm just not sure what will because this is crazy. I accepted a best offer of $450 plus $12 shipping. I paid a dollar at a church sale. Oh my gosh. $1 into $450. Yeah, that's what I said. They are Lou's Specialty Dress Vintage Pageant Satin Size 2 crin, uh, crin, Crinoline? Crinoline? She sells clothes, so she knows these uh, words. I think this might be a clothing word. Crinoline? Ruffle lace? I don't know. But anyway, they're vintage kids' dresses. Now, 
I am not sure if these are full circle or not. One great word to put in the title is pageant. But if you can take the dress and fan it out and it makes a full circle, you need to put full circle in your title and that should be your main photo, okay? I'm guessing these are full circle. So it's gonna be a full circle, the bottom, and then the little top part of the dress, I'll try to find you guys a photo, will be laying on the top and full circle, major good keyword, but she didn't have that in the title. So I don't know for sure if these are full circle, but that is just a Bolo Buddies tip of the day, right? Okay, so that was a great sale from Piece of Scrap and her eBay store is linked down below too. These little guys were purchased at the bins. Cost of goods, 50 cents. Sold on sale within a couple months. I always pick up Russ Plush. Small and soft and floppy. They are Russ Berry UK Halloween Kitty Beanie Plush Floppy Black Purple Cat. Two of them here. $59.29. This comes from Bolo Buddies member Dare to Dream Big 1313. And this is her eBay store. No YouTube channel. Purchase this doll at an online auction. She's Hasbro J. Turner Real Baby. She came with her original tagged Real Baby outfit, which I changed out with a vintage dress and bloomer set I got from Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. Yay! She got this at my um, Whatnot sale. I was selling vintage baby clothes and she sent me pictures of her baby dolls in these cute little clothes that she bought for me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that is so stinking cute. Um, I'm going to try to uh, find the messages of the pictures and I'm going to pop them up here for you guys to see how she buys vintage baby clothes and puts them on these baby dolls. It is absolutely incredible and so cute. So anyway, she said, I sold the doll for 49 and her original outfit for 29 on eBay. So what she did, she took the original outfit off, sold it for 29, put an outfit that she bought from me on whatnot on the doll and sold the doll for 49. So average cost of goods was $6 for the doll and $5 for the replacement outfit. I love selling dolls. Dressing them up is so much fun. Oh my goodness. This is an incredible story. I love it. And this is Dare to Dream Big 1313. Definitely check out her eBay store. And if you guys are not on Whatnot, oh my goodness, it's a great place to source. And if you want to sell, um, I have a selling link down below. Um, there are two different links, but if you want to buy on Whatnot, the referral link down below will get you $15 to shop, okay? So that's $15 of free money with my referral link. So go click on that, join Whatnot. It is incredible, I love it. Um, I have been sourcing on there myself. Hope to have some videos for you in the future. If not videos of what I actually buy, you're gonna see my what solds because I've already sold some stuff that I've sourced on Whatnot. So super, super fun platform to just go and hang out on. Um, so check that link out down below and let's get on to the next one here. Courtney is right. Ooh, I like the sound of that. My name is Courtney. <laughs> okay, anyway, just being silly. Um, those high dollar plushies exist and can be found. This nondescript plain old nerds candy plush caught my eye at an estate sale by the way, on day three, because it wasn't your typical bear, dog, bunny, etc. Price was 50 cents. The tag said Willy Wonka Brands. And that triggered a memory from one of Courtney's earlier videos about high dollar vintage candy. Man, this Jerry is, he is listening. He is paying attention. In which she talked about Willy Wonka candy, items bringing in good value because they, no long, they are no longer made. There are no other green WW Nerds plushes Currently listed, none sold in the last 90 days. I checked Terapeak and found one that had sold for 50. Since mine seemed to be very rare, I decided to push the price up a bit and threw it on eBay for $79.99 with a best offer option. I figured I might be sitting on it a while. Turns out it sold overnight in less than 24 hours for full asking price, not best offer. $79.99 plus shipping. Jerry, it might have been a $300 plush. Remember always do an auction. Start it, Start your auction at $79.99 and just see, you might get like some crazy bidding war. You just never know. You can always put it on, buy it now, okay? 
So that would be my recommendation for if you have items that you just can't find a whole lot of. But he is correct. I do have a video on vintage candy that is for advertising. That is not candy you're going to eat. Um, but really, really crazy prices that vintage candy can go for. You can check out that uh, video as well. Uh, Jerry's been around the channel for a long time. He's been watching me from the very beginning. Um, I think he's probably close to one of my first subscribers. Uh, Jerry's Shore, uh, I'm sorry, Jersey Shore Thrifters is his eBay store, and this is the plush he sold. Thank you, Jerry, for the fun story. I always love your stories. Got this at my local flea market for $10. I had someone from Qatar messaging me within two hours. Got put on new eBay shipping and I didn't have it set. He messaged me every hour until I got it fixed and bought it immediately. I guess the buyer was scared someone would get it before they could. It was priced a little high after researching. Best bolo ever. Oh my goodness. Wow. Rare Mackenzie Child's Wall Court Spiral Table Lamp Stamped 1983, $895.95. It sold for $895.95. She got it at a flea market for $10. And somebody was messaging her within two hours because they wanted it so bad, but her international shipping was not set up. Oh, how crazy is that? Okay, we're going to end this video right there because that is one amazing, incredible bolo. Um, which one was your favorite? So many good ones in this video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more because the more you guys share, the more videos I have. And um, I think last month there was like eight or nine. So if you guys missed out on the best January, I had to think of which month it was, the best January bolos, oh my goodness, go check them out because just incredible. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Um, your knowledge with everyone. This helps us all learn, including me. I really appreciate it. Um, I learn so much from all of you and I just appreciate your generosity and not keeping it a secret because I do feel like uh, there's enough to go around. There's enough to share. And these items, a lot of them, they're, they're not sitting everywhere. These are harder to find items, but knowledge is power. So if we have this information when we go out sourcing, we're going to find these items. You know, we may not find them tomorrow. We might not find them next week, maybe years from now, but we are armed with knowledge. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, go share a bolo Facebook group here. Bam. Bam. Thanks for watching. I accepted a best offer. I accepted a best offer of $450. Paid 12. Oh, start over. Start over. <laughs> She's got me all out of order here.